Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale Princess Leia Organa. I purchased this figure along with the entire latest wave of 6 inch Black Series figures from Big Bad Toy Store. For all your toy and collectible needs, visit Big Bad Toy Store. There is a link down below. So finally, Princess Leia in the six inch scale. It only took Hasbro, what, three years? And you know, this is really a mixed bag because on one hand, it's awesome that we finally have a new hope, Princess Leia in her classic white gown. But on the other, uh, the execution is very subpar, especially compared to some of Hasbro's other most recent offerings in the Black Series. So it's bittersweet. Uh, looking at the packaging, it's the same Black Series 6 inch packaging we've seen before. You got a nice image of Leia down on the bottom. You can see the figure nicely inside the packaging. Side of the box gives you a small peek inside. Opposite side indicates that this is number 30 in the series. And at the back, we get some information about Leia along with that same render from the front. Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebel Alliance's greatest leaders, fearless on the battlefield, and dedicated to ending the tyranny of the Empire. So, really eager to get this out of the box, get a closer look at it to see what it's like. There's a peek inside, and there's the bottom. So, okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so here is Leia out of the packaging. And right off the bat, it's terrible. It really is. There's really no way for me to sugarcoat it. It's terrible. You know, the head sculpt is really the biggest offender here. I don't have a huge problem with the rest of the figure, but that head. We'll look at that in just a moment. Uh, looking at the silhouette of the figure, she's got a nice shape to her. Her physique looks accurate. Proportions look pretty good. The soft goods is a very soft material and it does seem like it drapes pretty nicely around her body, though it is a little bit on the baggy side. As she still is a Black Series figure, she does have a good little bit of articulation as well as a couple of accessories. Looking up close at the figure, gosh, what happened here? What happened here? You know, I talked to Hasbro at San Diego Comic-Con this year, and uh, they assured me that there would still be some work done on this figure to make it a little bit more movie accurate, to make it look a little bit better. But it doesn't look like they ever got around to doing that because maybe there's some minor tweaks to the paint from what was on display there. But they didn't re-sculpt the figure's head, which is really what this needed. It just doesn't look good. She looks old. She looks like she has these very prominent cheekbones that Carrie Fisher doesn't quite have, especially back in... 1977. I, this just doesn't look good at all, you guys. It just doesn't look good at all. I'm going to pull that hood down and um, she really doesn't look, she really doesn't look that good. The hair's not bad, but that's as far as it goes. Uh, the hair color looks pretty good. It's like a dark brown and it looks nice. It's, it's nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. But I mean, look at that head sculpt. It's just not Princess Leia. Uh, the biggest issue, of course, is the cheekbones. Now, what I think the problem is with this figure is that when a woman wears blush on her cheeks, it gives you the illusion that she has larger cheekbones that are more prominent and look like they sit a little bit higher on her face. Hasbro took that literally and actually sculpted the effect that is given by blush. So she has these really big cheekbones that she just wouldn't have in real life. Older photos of Princess Leia share with the blush on and kind of give that illusion of the cheekbones being more prominent, but it's just an illusion. They literally sculpted <laughs> that illusion on here. And I think more than anything else, that's what is the, the biggest problem with this figure. So just to give you the female point of view and that aside, I mean, it's not a very good likeness, really. I mean, even looking at it from the side, she, it, it looks too masculine. It looks like an older person. It doesn't look like a 19 year old, like it should. It, I mean, it, it looks like somebody who's probably like 40 or something. The lips look to be a little bit too dark, even though the paint for the lips is pretty clean. Uh, this is actually my second layer. The first one I got had a really big right eye and I, I, it just looked terrible. I had to exchange it, so. Um, but this isn't a whole lot better. Like you can see there's like some, there's like a paint flaw. Like if you look here at the corner of her, of her lips, just kind of right there, like going up, you can see like a little bit of glaze or clear coat or something that kind of got smeared. And the eyes are still a little bit off. It's not as bad as the first one I had, but they're still a little bit off. And those eyebrows just look funky. I mean, they didn't really do a great job painting them. Um, Leia had more rounded eyebrows. These are more arched, so 
I don't know what went wrong here. Like I said, Hasbro is doing a really good job on a lot of stuff these days, but a lot of the times with human figures, they just don't get them right. And then they ruin it by not doing good jobs on the paint. This is a combination of this just being a really poor sculpt, really poor lightness and inadequate paint operations. It just doesn't look good. I'm sorry, it's, it's terrible. And you know what the sad thing is that this is probably the best six inch figure you can get for Princess Leia in this outfit because it's the only one. We need Figgy Arts and Mayfax and all those companies to get on this because I, I think anything we, we get from those companies is gonna be a lot better than this. It, this is just really sad. But we do gotta move on. So I showed you how she looks with the hood up. Uh, actually, she probably looks a little bit better with the hood up, I guess. I mean, it it's not really the best implementation because the hood is just a little bit, a little bit too big. I mean, it, I, I guess that's about as good as, as we're going to get it. It's just a little, a little too lightweight. Maybe if it had like some brackets down here at the bottom to kind of weigh it down, it would have looked a little bit better. But I mean, that that's kind of how, how it looks. And then to pull that back, uh, unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't really stay unless you put it inside out. And even that doesn't really work too well because it's, it sticks out like that. So this is one of those instances where they should have just sculpted a plastic hood that we could put on the figure's head and take it off when we wanted to because this just doesn't look very good at all. Like I said, the material that they used is pretty nice. It's, it's a very thin, lightweight material. Uh, it's a little bit stretchy and uh, it, it, it feels nice in hand, but it is a little bit too baggy, especially there at the arms. You can see it's just like, it looks like a, a kite or something, which is gonna go like flying. It looks like a nun. Um, it, it, it's just not <laughs> what it needed to be. Um, it looks nice. It feels nice in hand, but you know, it's just too baggy and, oh gosh, Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro. Um, as far as the rest of the figure goes, she has a belt. It looks nice. And that's probably the best aspect of this figure is the belt. And like what we saw with Luke Skywalker earlier this year, um, she does have an entirely sculpted body underneath. Luke, as you recall, had... Uh, had a, a torso and arms and her knees. So you do get that under there. They're very skinny, those arms. Very, very fragile, very skinny. And uh, same goes for uh, down here. And this is just for educational purposes. Uh, you can see that she's got legs underneath. She is uh, wearing underwear. And she's got boots. And the boots actually do look pretty nice too. They, they do look a little nice. I do have an issue with the fact that uh, the feet look like a darker so sort of white color than the top of the boot. That's a little weird, but the sculpt is nice. And the soles are black, which is correct. Peg holes on bottom. Okay, so in terms of articulation, we get a ball joint here at the neck, and you can see it right there. So you can kind of get her to look down. Actually, that's that's not bad. No, she moves down quite a bit up. You can go side to side. You can do a little, not really a tilt. She's got ball joints at both of the shoulders. And those move about pretty nicely. I'm trying to pull her sleeve up so you can see it better. She does have swivels here at the biceps. She has uh, double bends at the elbows. And they are pretty hard to move because of how fragile and thin they are. Bends and swivels at both of the wrists. This one goes forward and back. And the other one goes up and down. She has a ball joint here at the torso, which gets a pretty good range of movement. She's got ball hinging at both of the hips, which um, aren't, they don't go up all that much. That's about as much as you're going to get. So um, this is soft goods. So it doesn't really affect it or anything. She does have swivels here at both of the thighs. And those are also pretty tight. Um, on this specific figure, uh, she does have double bends on the knees. But for the left leg, I can't get it to work. Like, I can't even get it. I can get, like, the bottom part to, to bend. But I can't get the top one to bend at all. Like, it just feels like it's going to break. I think something's wrong with it because it, it just seems like like, why is there a little gap right there with the leg all the way forward? And these gaps just don't look right. I mean, this just doesn't seem correct. If we look at the right leg, it, it does work properly. See, it bends easily, no problem. But the other one, it just feels like it's going to break. I mean, look at this. It just doesn't, just doesn't seem right. I think I'm going to need to exchange it yet again. Uh, then down here, she's got uh, ball hinging at both of the ankles, along with rocker swivels. In the way of accessories, we get two blasters. This is the sporting blaster that Leia has at the beginning of A New Hope. She doesn't use it very much, but uh, it's a good looking accessory. Looks nice. And the other one, of course, is a standard Imperial issue blaster. 
Uh, it's pretty simple. It's black. It's got a little silver detail right there. And this is what she used on the Death Star. And she does hold both of the blasters fine. No issues there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series, 6-inch scale, Princess Leia Organa. Overall, this is a highly disappointing figure. I know that this is Hasbro. I know that this is the Black Series. This isn't top of the line stuff or anything, but it's just the fact that we know they're capable of doing a good job with their figures. Like we saw with the very first Luke Skywalker in X-Wing gear. That was a very nicely done, near perfect figure. I'm honestly not sure what happened with Princess Leia. I mean, she just looks quite atrocious. That head sculpt looks nothing like her. The sculpt is terrible and the paint operations just aren't accurate. Uh, this is one that they really needed to take back to the drawing board and redo from the ground up. Uh, the articulation, where it works, it seems to work pretty well, but her limbs are just so skinny and so fragile that it feels like they're going to break when you move them. And in the case of her left knee, there really is an issue there that I need to look into because I think that I have a defective figure. So maybe third time will be the charm. I have no idea. Uh, I do like the soft goods. I like the way that it feels. It's nice that it has a little bit of give to it but it's just a little bit bulky, especially in the sleeve area. And I don't like the hood, how it's really hard to smoothen it out to look natural. The blasters are nice. And honestly, those are probably the best aspect of this figure is that you do get nice blasters with her. Other than that, I am very, very disappointed because Princess Leia is next to Darth Vader, my favorite character in Star Wars. And we've waited so long to get a nice Princess Leia figure in the six inch line. And what we got is just plain terrible. I mean, Hasbro really should be embarrassed to put something out like this. This is just really, really poor. So help us out, figure arts. You're our only hope. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If so, do give us a like, do subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are about Princess Leia down in the comments. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we talk a lot about Star Wars action figures. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye. Ooh.